So how long was it going on for then? You can't come back here. Tell me. Were you sleeping with her after we got married? Is that what you're saying? When you went away on those, uh, those business trips where you holed up in a hotel with my kid's sister? Believe what you like. I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm rather regretting not going for the hat trick. What? Your dad only took me on because he had the hots for me. I missed the chance there. That could have got interesting. You're disgusting. On your squeaky clean. My brother's on the run, thanks to you. You never even liked Andy. His family, sort of. And you destroyed his life. Mine too. So now it's my turn to destroy yours. You know, I'd love to stop and talk some more, but my fiance needs fetching from hospital, so let yourself out. Oh, um, the thing about Rebecca is, I reckon she's still a little bit in love with me. Who can blame her? Trust me, all you have to do is sign. Would you put your name to something without reading the small print? Mm, fair point. What's all this? I've made you and Rebecca co-managers in my business. Behind my back? Well, we discussed this this morning. This all looks good to me. Excellent. Now you're both on an even footing. Hopefully, this means we can call a truce. Now, this seems like a good moment for me to raid the wine cellar. I've got an excellent Dom Perignon 82, which I've been saving for a very special occasion. <laughs> Are you, um, are you in love with Robert? Why do you think that? I don't. He does. He isn't the worst bloke I've fallen into bed with. And you muscling in on our business. He's put you up to this, hasn't he? You can't trust him. He's using you. He wants to drive a wedge between us. For all our differences from now on, we, we need to look out for each other. That might be what you need. <laughs>